Hey everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today I want to show you different ways to run your applications like 3D visualizations, simulations or games web-based so your end users don't need to download or install anything on their devices. We are talking about remote rendering and streaming but I will also show you other alternatives which are cheaper and more scalable. Imagine exploring a virtual world and interacting with AI characters, but instead of all the heavy lifting happening on your device, it is happening somewhere else in the cloud. So you don't anymore need a super fast PC to run your applications. Instead, those applications even will run on your phones or tablets or whatever else you want to use. And this makes your applications accessible for every one of your end users. Today I want to show you different ways how we stream our Unreal Engine applications in the cloud, but also I want to show you other cheaper ways of pixel streaming or running games or those yeah, simulations web-based using for example 3GS and other methods. But first up let's talk a bit about Unreal Engine's pixel streaming. Customers always ask me what would be better, your web framework, which we are also using for our virtual 3D offices for example, or Unreal Engine application in combination with, um, yeah, for example, Arcware, a service provider for pixel streaming. And then I always mention, of course, well, it depends on your use case. Of course, the graphics in Unreal Engine later will be way much better than in our web-based framework. This is due to technical limitations we have using 3GS. We will talk more about that in a second as well. But at the same time, the pixel streaming also come with yeah, bigger hosting costs of like 10 cent per user Per minute. And when you're planning to make a simulation, you will show people, for example, in your sales calls or you want to send your investors to get funding, this will be no problem to use Unreal Engine there uh, to impress those with like stunning visuals from Unreal Engine. But since we also work in areas like virtual concerts or 3D shopping malls or also wanted to build our virtual 3D offices for recruiting and sales with those AI characters, we noticed that it will not be like scalable when you get more traffic on the site. So that's why we decided also to build our new web framework. But what if you don't have tons of money to spend just for hosting? That's where cheaper and more scalable alternatives come in. We are talking about ways to do similar cool stuff without breaking the bank. What makes pixel streaming so expensive is that you you're basically hosting a very powerful PC in the cloud which will run your game. So users can stream it and play it. With the 3GS based web framework we have built it's possible to build and optimize those applications so much that they Hi, I'm Arthur um, Bill, yeah, CEO of Bill Consulting GmbH. I'm here to help you learn about our new 3D office and the innovative recruiting process we've developed. Who am I speaking with? Service in the cloud. The end user will basically run the game in their web browser or yeah on on the phone basically directly. And instead you can just run it on any existing web server and can also easily embed it in your existing websites with an iframe. And due to the optimizations required, of course, the graphics also will go down a bit. But all in all, this is a perfect approach for applications which are targeting thousands of people and should be scalable or when you want to avoid expensive hosting. All this, of course, is a bit more complex, so we also help our clients there, of course, in the beginning, finding out the right solutions for their use cases to see what will work best there for their projects. And all this is so complex because there are also much more service providers you can choose from, where all of them having their pros and cons depending on different use cases. There is, for example, also Wonder who brought back the packaging of Unreal Engine games as HTML files, which also can work good for different types of games, or also many other pixel streaming so, um, providers, which are some of them are a bit cheaper, some of them are a bit more expensive, all have a different like pricing model. Um, so yeah, that also makes sense to like compare the different providers for the pixel stream. Or you can also set up your own servers on AWS. All that are things I don't want to cover in this video because it will blow the video in general. All in all, you just should know that like there would be like pixel streaming and maybe also other things like yeah, running the game with WebGL or like in 3GS and all that stuff. And it is very important to think about the hosting and all that stuff directly in the beginning to then also make sure that you don't run into costs which you maybe have not expected yet. And if that's something where you also want to get some support with to select the right service providers there 
but also maybe the right framework for your use case, then um, yeah, we can do that in the first free meeting where I can assist there to figure out those things and directly give you a first overview and strategy how your application could get built with Unreal Engine or also in 3GS. And if you then later want to decide working with us, we will assist there from the planning to the setup and implementation on your website and later can even assist with different marketing ideas, how you can use those new 3D visualizations in the most efficient way possible. So so if you're looking for a reliable developer in those areas, I'm looking forward to learn more about your ideas and your projects. And yeah, you can easily contact me over the mail um, you can see here now, or you can also find the link in the description of this video. It's a Calendly link where you can easily directly book a first free meeting with me that we can talk more about your use case. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to that and um, hope this video was helpful there and hope you have a nice rest of your day. And that's it from me. Take care. Bye.